My name is Robert Dodd, Jr. I'm a commercial general contractor. I started DLR contracting in 1999 with my father. Definitely I've had periods of success and failure throughout my life, but that's what happens when you own your own business. I mean, most stories aren't just a steady, uh, you know, success after success after success. Around about uh, 1985, I met um, who would become my wife of now 36 years, uh, Melissa. And um, we were talking about taking things to the next level and so on and so forth. And we had started talking about a wedding in July of 1987. Well, in January, I found out I was gonna be a father. And things got uh, sped up a little bit. And all of a sudden, we had to figure things out. We start off right off the bat, uh, limited income, no health insurance, really at that point, you know, no place to live. When you are living on a, at best, paycheck to paycheck scenario, at best, trying to uh, kind of get by, and you're starting with a debt of almost $10,000, it is hard to get out from under that. A good week for me was 80, 90 hours. The typical week was probably 100 to 120. And we had a one year plan, right? We were like, okay, you know, we do the math, we, we do this and we, and we work at this level and, you know, we can, you know, chop down the debt. Well, that, that one year plan took three years. You know, some of it's hard work. Um, some of it you have to, you have to get a little bit of luck. And then obviously the support that we, support system we had from our families, both families. My business started to become a little bit more successful. Things started to look like they were headed in a different direction. And in 1997, we bought our first house. Alice to me is people that are working as hard as they possibly can and just can't get out from under the weight of debt. And then the second thing comes and then the third thing comes and you know, for me, it was a credit card, right? It was hospital debt and credit card. Where do you find help? As DLR started to have some of its success, you know, we started to give back. I was a board member for Rappahannock United Way from 2017 to 2020. I was on the board really when Alice was becoming the focus. And it got my heart right from the get-go because I could absolutely relate to it. Yeah, that was me. Rappahannock United Way is community. It stands for community. Whatever I do there, whether it's you know time or money, when I, when I help support the Rappahannock United Way, I'm supporting I don't know, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of organizations. The impact that United Way have is 100% what I stand for, and that's supporting the community and making the community a better place. I always say when you are looking out on your front porch, you know, don't look past don't look past too many houses before you figure out who needs help, right? That it's right here, it's right here in front of you. And you gotta get engaged. Find your passion for engagement. United Way offers so many opportunities. There is a place that you can go and talk to someone. That's their role at this point, is to be that place, be that, be that billboard sign that, that Alice can read and get off the road and and, and find shelter and safety and, uh, and support.